If I was president of this world, I'd give all the women pockets. Yay, yay. What a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty fine man. Hello, friends. Hello. I'm working on Big Boat. How is everyone? I have espresso ready to go. Fleetwood Mac cup. Let's go. Double shot. I hope everyone's having a good evening. Lovely to see you, Castellina, Danny. Wow. Danny, I realize we don't have a sound alert for you, but we have a sound alert for Stellina and Cass. <laughs> oh, I thought I did Cass. Sorry. There we go. If I was president of this world, I'd give all the women pockets. Okay, so today we are doing the thing that I have been avoiding doing for um, the whole time I've done this painting, which are the cranes. And so you can't really see, but I have gone in and drawn the outlines for four cranes. Oh, thank you for the babanata. I think they might be too evenly spaced. Not sure. Maybe you want to throw in a, a 
odd number one in there, maybe? I don't know. And then I also realized I didn't cover up enough of these lines. So I need to go back in with like the same color white to try to match with the background. Might be a little bit of a headache. Anyway, how is everyone? I hope you've had a good weekend. I had a, um, I guess I can switch to this one. <laughs> Sheepy bug, she is. Oh, hi, Hayes. It's nice to see you. Although I think you should be asleep. Thank you for the boops. Um, I had a good weekend on Friday. I went to go see a potential reception venue for wedding. And I... I don't even know if I can say it was good or if it was bad or if I, I mean, I liked it, but it was awful because then I came home and I did all the calculations because like we're walking. So it's this botanical garden. It's beautiful, right? It's also hot as hell because it's summer. I don't want to get, I'm not getting married in August. Um, definitely not in a botanical garden. Anyway, though, we're walking around. It's beautiful. We're looking at all the lawns and she's like, so if you pick this, this is part of this package and this is part of this package. And like, I had gotten some materials before I had gone and I'm like, cool, lowest package, lowest package, lowest package. And then you get there and you see the lawns that are in the lowest package and you're like, I don't know. I think I liked the lower meadow more. <sighs> Guys, it's a whole freaking thing. I should be, but I couldn't possibly miss an Abbey stream you can, and I give you full permission, Hades. Also, I hope that forehead kisses would be consensual because I do mean them in like a, what's it, a platonic grandmother way. I have to resist the urge from like typing kissy noises in chat all the time because I realize that like, it does, it, it's just like, that's what I mean. It's like, oh, so cute. That's what I mean. Yeah, of course they are. Okay, thank you, Hayes. Oh, Danny, you're perfect. Any any word on your dumper emote? Has it still not been approved? Oh my goodness, guys. I have also sunk eight hours of the last 24 hours in No Man's Sky. I have created a world of my own. I'm working on getting a pet. I'm working on it. Trying to just 7TV it? What does that mean? Okay. Espresso. Done. I have to do some of this painting. Hmm. <laughs> but I need to get some of my painting supplies. Oh, anyway, No Man's Sky. Really enjoying it. I was afraid that the crafting and all of the like putting stuff, finding the stuff to put this stuff together and like the crafting part of it was gonna be really annoying, which it kind of is sometimes, but I finally found the mother load of carbon, so I think I might be okay. I think I might be okay. I have my oil painting apron on. I'm looking the part. Now I need to be brave, like I said, and just paint some cranes. How how hard could they be? some of this off.
Also, Sheriff got a uh, second floor up on his house. How exciting. Those law dogs, hard at work. So proud of them. Okay, so. Really, bugs should not be in here while I have oil paints out. But she's just so cute. You know, it's hard. Okay, so first things first, I need to clear up some of the unnecessary crane detail here. If anyone has ever played No Man's Sky, please give me all your best tips. Tell me where your uh, your bases are. I want to visit. Do people play No Man's Sky? I don't know. I knew it had a terrible release. But look, God of War is not out until November. I don't know what else to play. Okay, so this was white. Cadmium, I think it was Thalo, or was it Ultramarine? is a little too old on this pilot. That's a good attempt. these lights and somehow it's still dark. terribly chatty this evening. I just told myself that I need to get in here and get some work done. Which ones do I not need? Oh, shit. Need more 
red. another ring light. This was also a little weird, so I think I might want to redo this as well. I like the height. I like everything else. Nice to just have an outline. excited about work tomorrow. I'd rather just pretend that I don't work. And that that's feasible. Okay, still a little white in that area.
will say, back here did get a little muddy, so it is good that it's getting clear. Less than a dude bug, so please be careful while you're in here. I know it just looks like I'm painting white over white, but I swear it's gonna do something. jumped on the drive out. Okay, let me make a kitty highway. Let me establish a kitty highway. Oh, are you gonna go up there? With your sister? There he is. Morty has joined us. Wow. How are we gonna get both of you in here now? Discord alert just went out.
know it looks like nothing's changed, but a lot has changed. TV. Got it. Okay. Oh my god. I can't believe that took like 30 minutes for me to finally understand. I'm dumb. I'm sorry. It's so silly that a dumper emote would be unaccepted like that. It's a dinosaur. How offensive could that be? Do you need to turn some?
was unplugged. Oh, we got kitty cat baths in the kitty cat cam. How cute. Okay. So I want to add a little bit more pink back into the sky. Again, probably looks the same to you, looks a lot brighter to me. I don't know if that's actually what I wanted. I think it was. And then I think what I'll do while I'm at it. Let's do some highlights. is giving her brother a bath. Oh yeah, it'll turn into a fight real soon. Marty sometimes just goes up to her and gives her a nice big headbutt, which is just translation for, could you give me a bath, please? <laughs> Okay, so I guess I'm not doing the cranes. I guess I have a lot more detail to do in the sky than I thought I did. practiced feathering in a while. Hello, nice painting you're doing. Thank you, mocap. I appreciate that. I feel like I've been working on it forever. Forever. How are you, mocap? You're a constant wealth of knowledge, but you're also just a total mystery to me. Okay. So if we move 
with that, you can see the highlights that I just added. Just added them up here. A little bit more. I'll add some up there. Just, just a little bit in these ones. So I want to do some shaping in here too. This is a nice brush for feathering. Honestly, wouldn't have guessed. Okay, sky do be brighter. really regretting that I decided to do this. I don't know if that was the right move. I think it was. Shit. I 
I just need to hit it with some brighter colors. I think I might also take a dab. <laughs> Hope no one minds. <sighs> I also still need to eat frickin' dinner. to get this. Forgot to clean up down here. God damn it. Shadow Walker, thank you. Um, can I use it as a hydrate, which I'm already doing because I did forget my water. today. What's that? I don't know what candy dice is. Hi Bonnick, how are you? Ooh, 
Ooh, I've got red all over my hands. Uh, poly dice like he would use for D&D, but made them out of candy. Ooh, okay, that's pretty cool. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. How are you, Vonic? Nice to see you. We are here again. A boat. Still with no cranes. Jolly Ranchers to be specific. Ooh. So you have like Jolly Rancher dice now. That's pretty cool. Look at those kitties. I can't, I can't stand it. Okay. So there's like all of these different points in a painting and I think I fell into the trap of thinking I was closer to being done than I actually was, which is a thing that we do a lot. And now I'm realizing like all of these cans and he called them, I call them cans. Um, all of these containers need to get cleaned up. Like what is that? That's gross. That's, that's not even a square. Hi, Ratnado. How are you? I'm lamenting over me realizing that I have so much more left to do. Um, more than I had thought I needed to set out for today. But it's only been 48 minutes, and God damn it, I haven't streamed over an hour and a half in like a month. <laughs> so I need to get my shit together. Good. Thank you. Good. I'm glad. Happy Sunday. Um, are the boys over at Scrolly Studios hard at work this evening, Ratnado? I'm doing all right tonight, just eating some homemade rice crispy treats. Ooh, Evan has all this good candy. What the heck? Actually, I can't say anything. I have a plate full of homemade lasagna, including the noodles, and some tiramisu in the refrigerator. So I can't complain at all. Always, Adios working hard in the editing bay. Thank God he's right where we all want him to be. Thank you for keeping an eye on him so much. This song has like a weird clicky noise in it that I'm not a huge fan of. Might need to switch it. Yeah, too many clicky noises in my ears. Oh no, it just went away. Okay. <laughs> hey Kulu, a lot of cargo on that ship. Yes, it do be a lot of cargo. <clears throat> and... I'm realizing more and more that it is a lot. It is a lot. I do need to go in and sharpen these up. I keep saying it. But I also keep saying that I need to be brave and I need to do the cranes, but then I got distracted and I covered up even more of the cranes with white clouds. So one could say I'm procrastinating at a regressive level. How's it going, Kulu? I did not help myself because I just uh, smoked some weed, but I need some water. Okay, now where'd the music go? Seems like a happy little accident to me. Well, it was in terms of that it will end up being nicer as an outcome. Mm. Man, Hulu, where are you guys in terms of planning for your wedding? I am so curious. Is it like two early days? Like you don't even have any details yet because I went to go see a venue on Friday and I have more discouraged than I've ever been. 
It costs so much money to get married. Even a little thing. Okay. Boxes. I think I'll start back here. sure if she found a dress yet but yeah things are happening okay oh the venue has been picked out and paid for uh oh, okay so we decided friday <gasps> me too uh and by mean i mean her obviously we're getting married december 17th oh that's a good date we're looking at may 12th which is a friday um and I was looking at a botanical garden for the wedding, but um, I need to remain my smart, savvy self and accept that I have kind of already come to the conclusion that it will be too expensive to have it there, even though it kind of hurts my heart in a way I didn't expect it to. But I'm not going to Vegas, no matter how many times Mr. Hard Fox fucking asks me. That sucks. Yeah, it does suck. Because, like, I built, I did build it up in my head, and, like, Understandable, it's, I was like finally excited to plan it because I've been dreading it for a while. Like we got to proposed or we got engaged in December and so it's been a while and I just haven't really wanted to do anything for it because how stressful it is. And so I finally start doing stuff, fears confirmed, it is very stressful and then I, I'm like, okay, I think I made a decision on where I want to go, and then after all that, I don't think that that's the place we'll end up being able to use. So that sucks. But we move on. It is not the end of the world. I will find another place, and it'll be perfect because it's us. better on the yellow squares. I thought you guys were already married. Well, congratulations, and if that, if it's really where you want to do it, then make it happen. Well, there, see, I think that that is a good mindset if, I don't know, I have a hard time with the make it happen part because it's so much money and it's for one day and so it's it's like me trying to be I don't know how to describe it and like whenever I say this people are always like but it's not about anyone else it's about you and so then it's like this whole thing of 
okay, but yeah, I know it's about me, but what I want is to make everyone happy. <laughs> like, yeah, so it's both. I don't know, it's, it's confusing. Yeah, she's gonna, oh, she's getting her doctorate and is a teacher, so she's in school um, and has school. So I thought next summer would be um, us, but it just worked out that December's better, apparently. Well, I mean, Honestly, I'm kind of of the mind as as soon as it's behind me, I'm way better. Like, let's just get it over with. All the stress is going to be over. We can be happy and married. <laughs> Period. <laughs> yeah, it's a hard balance, but I feel like people will support you in what you want once you are sure of what that is. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that the thing that I'm trying most to decipher is like people who want to come or people who are like I mean I know that everyone would want to come but like I don't know how to decide who can come because it's like not I can't invite many people because of the limits that I'm putting on myself price wise but if we did it in the place I wanted to do it we could have up to 150 people which is way more than I think we'd ever need. I've made it very clear that I'm gonna, that I'm good going to the courthouse and just throwing a big party for everyone, but that's not an option apparently. I better be invited, Abby. Everyone's invited. Um, truthfully, I, I, there are a lot more people on Twitch that I'd prefer to show up than uh, some people in my family, so. We shall see. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, I like the idea of going to, I don't like the idea of going to a courthouse, never mind, because it's in public and it's with other people and it feels like not like a, a thing that's just like a very needlessly emotional attachment to a ceremony, but like, I don't want to, I see, I don't even want to get married in front of anyone other than the, our immediate family. Like, my plan is to have a private ceremony on Thursday evening here at our house with, like, 20 people. And then the next night at the Botanical Gardens with, like, 75 people of, like... And so then that way people who travel down will have, like, two things to do. I don't know. And so, like, that sounds right. In my head, that sounds so nice and perfect for my family and for Mr. Art Fox's family. But then I discovered that without food without booze, without decorations, and without considering any cost for the private ceremony, it would be 13 grand to just ask, basically, to use the botanical garden. And I'm like, 13 g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-
such a small detail. It will ultimately be such a pathetic little blimp in my life. It'll be a six hour party if that. But there's just a lot of pressure to do it and it's pressure that I gave into a long time ago and I want to see it through because honestly I've been to weddings that are really fun and I would love for our family to get to be at a wedding that's fun because it's us. Oldies, lots of oldies, lots of good stuff to drink, just basically just good food and good music. That's all I'm interested in. I'll start brewing alcohol. Thank you, Ratnado. <laughs> We're really lucky because her dad is willing to stroke a generous check, but still people are out there. Oh, no, 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 no. And like, had the, the reason why it's like, I don't want Mr. Art Fox to be contributing to the wedding. I wouldn't want his family to be contributing to the wedding is because they looked out, or we looked out, by them helping us buy a house. So there's no way that they're gonna be helping us with a wedding because there you go. That's all we need. That's that's above and beyond was what they did for us to get us in here. Um, so it's not like it's an important part of the big picture, you know? I don't know. I can make some prison wine in a toilet. I Well, you're not in prison. Could you make a better attempt, Vonik? I have to ask you to make a better attempt. Maybe all I ask for is like a clean mason jar and just stuff some grapes in there with some vinegar and see what happens. I think that's how you make wine. Yo, don't hate on banana mayo sandwiches. Wait, are we serious? Are we being serious right now? Kulu. I need you to confirm or deny. Oh, yeast too? Oh, and stomp the grapes. Yeast? I think that the vinegar, well, yeah, I guess it would need yeast. What do they add to, I think that the grapes just create their own ferment because sugar, right? Feet has that, that's the stomping part. There we go, big brain vonic. So I grew up with adding sugar to that and what brand mayo? Wait, what? Is this like a Midwest thing? YouTube, is this like a Midwest thing? Should I call my dad right now? Be like, dad, banana and mayo sandwiches. What's with it? Actually, my dad has Alzheimer's. That wouldn't be a great conversation. You'd be like, what? Or it would be a really revolutionary conversation for him and he may either have a recovered memory or he might wander into the kitchen and make a banana and mayo sandwich, which I don't want to be blamed for. So it's a Southern thing. Okay. Okay. Dukes or death? Dukes is a mayo brand. Best foods, baby. Like a tomato and mayo sandwich, but with bananas. Like, look, I get that tomatoes are techn technically a fruit. They're not, they're a vegetable. I mean, I know they're a fruit, but they're kind of a vegetable. Bonnick knows the way to my heart. Wow, I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with this union. Actually, I'm very comfortable. You two actually have kind of a similar vibe about you. I have a bigger PP than both of you. I'm just gonna come out and say it right now to establish dominance. I also have a paint. I haven't touched this canvas for the last like five minutes. Tomato, Duke's mayo, salt and pepper on some white bread. Shit is amazing. Wait, okay, but where's the banana? I'm okay with mayo and tomato and salt and pepper. That's fine. But the banana is where I'm upset. Ratnado, are you familiar with this? mayo banana sandwich situation because honestly I'm a little off put. Although Sheriff I think did um and actually I do need to guess I guess blame Mrs. McLawdog. Cinnamon cinnamon toast, cinnamon raisin toast with easy cheese on it. 
gross. Gross. No. I was upset when I heard that. I was upset. <laughs> Never heard of it. Okay. The tomato and banana are interchangeable. So two inches, congrats. <laughs> well, look, still the biggest pee pee. I'm uncomfortable with the banana. So you would put salt and pepper on a banana then? <sighs> yeah. No, no, no. That's a no from me. Banana sandwich is different? Okay, so are you guys trolling me completely? Because even better union. Sorry, I didn't raise my light. Okay. Look at those cute kitty cats. Um, I have some more red to do. So I grew up eating banana, mayo, and sugar on white bread. We were poor as fuck. Well, I mean, on the banana, it's usually just banana and mayo, no seasonings. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Well, look, if it kept you alive, I guess I shouldn't shit on it. <gasps> Baby! Jillian, I owe you a text message and I apologize. I'm getting stuck in that six to eight business day loop of replying. <laughs> Thank you, you're the best. Not a troll, it's a real thing. Jillian, banana and mayo sandwiches, where do you stand on it? Because I'm uncomfortable. I feel that we used to eat bread rolls. Oh, I feel that we used to eat bread rolls. I can't claim to have had a hard time growing up at all. We pretty much had everything we needed. I just have emotional trauma. But you know what? It's probably not worse than anyone else's. I am anti-banana. Thank you. Me too. I'm anti-banana. I can maybe get through half a banana before I'm like, I don't want any more of this weird, chalky, I don't even know what else, how else to describe it. I will say, Jillian, Blahmaster, confirm or deny, apple bananas, apple bananas are off the chain, but I haven't been able to find them anywhere but Maui. A true disappointment. I think I did find them in the grocery store here one time. Or like sprouts or something. Uh, yeah, I hate the taste and smell. I can't get past it. Oh yeah, they're also no for me, but I would say they're better than regular bananas. Confirmed. HLG! Oh, you're painting another ship! Oh no, 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 it's the same ship. Same fucking ship, HLG. It's, it's gonna be the same ship for like... Same ship in the same shit for the same, for the next like two weeks, I'm gonna say. I was really hoping I was closer to being finished, but I'm definitely not. But yeah, I think they're just in Hawaii. I think that they're from the Philippines. I think that they get shipped in from the Philippines. But I have never seen them. I saw them in San Francisco once, and I'm sure that it was from the Philippines. I uh, never realized how uncool off the chain sounds until I heard someone say it. Did I say it? Well, let me know if I can ruin any other words for you, okay? Uh, I only eat penis shaped food, so bananas are a must. Okay. I wonder if they're in California then, like in more Filipino communities out there. 
Well, it would be, it would have to be like some grandma growing them in her backyard in like the most humid place in California, I think. You did, you said apples were off the chain. Well, you know what? Oh, apple bananas are off the chain. Look, I can't help it. I'm gonna be an amazing mother one day, is all I have to say. They're gonna be real mad because I won't turn off my lo-fi playlist. guys say the apples are bussin <laughs> that sounds way worse <laughs> bussin 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 i can't help that i'm white okay i've been white my whole life and confirm or deny jillian hawaii is maybe one of the worst places to grow up if you're white because it's just embarrassing <laughs> I said the word penis, huh? That's probably gonna be my most viewed clip just because I said the word penis. Say it with your whole chest. <laughs> oh, I was literally telling a friend today that you have to have really thick skin to be white and white. Everyone will give you shit over comfy, corny things you say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's kind of, you're teased pretty mercilessly, which is fucking fine. Like, oh. I'm getting bullied. Um, I was usually written off as the white girl until, or the Howley girl, for those of you unfamiliar, that is white girl. Um, I was usually written off with that until people, A, realized how good I was at swimming, B, realized my brother sold the best weed in Maui. Mic drop. Oh, no, no. Okay, real pencil, or uh, brush. Abby, sorry. <laughs> Big sigh. Uh, Abby, it's edited in such a way to make the clip have nothing but you saying I only eat penis-shaped foods. HLG, I'm gonna tell you to go ahead and download that because that might get deleted. <laughs> I don't know if I want that to show up as clip uh, and shout outs. <laughs> I, I love being razzed, a good razzing. Agreed to both those statements. Oh, Abby's a Howley too? Oh yeah, I already downloaded it, okay. No, don't delete it because I still need to see it. Let's give it life for like a good 24 hours. Do you know which foods are peen shaped? The best kinds? Well, lots of lots of on the go foods are peen shaped. Um, you know, I prefer the term pasty bitch over white girl. <laughs> yeah, I had some native Hawaiian friends too. I was their token Howley. Very nice. I, um, I mean, I was, Jillian and I were both born and raised in Hawaii. Spoiler alert, Blah Master Jillian is also white. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it was, it's a little weird to grow up on an island where there are like native communities that are, that don't love white people and have lots of reasons to not, historically not like white people necessarily a personal reason and not like me but 
look, maybe my dad fucked up their wisdom teeth. I don't know. It's never personal. No, it's never. Always the wisdom teeth. Always the wisdom teeth. Remember it was like, did you go, oh no, I guess I shouldn't say my dad's last name. It's so hard. There's only like two oral surgeons to go to in Maui. But no, I didn't have your dad as dentist. Well, how many people did? have managed to convince a lot of my classmates that my teacher was actually my father because we have the same last name. It's very effective. She said oral ha. Technically, the full title is oral and maxillofacial. Okay. How am I already running out of gas? It's ridiculous. HLG, teach me your ways. How do you stream for so long? What? I heard my name. How do you stream for so long? Teach me your ways. I need to know. to do with my free time. Okay. You have one? Have insomnia. Hulu. <laughs> okay. On to the blue. something on their mind? Oh my god, how? Right? Did you finish the rando ever figure out how to get to work again? Randomizer? Uh, 
Oh man, Mr. Art Fox is hosting a LAN next weekend. I don't even know where I'm gonna go. What do I do? How do I hide? He's still golfing. smoke some sort of meat and be belligerently drunk by 3 p.m. and there will be minimum three grown men on my couch sleeping. It's like I'm psychic. I'm weird. I normally pull like 30 to 40 hours and sleeping for five to six and then repeat. Ooh, they should do a study on you, Bonic. Do you get anything done? Because I wouldn't get anything done with that kind of sleep or lack thereof. I thought you were going to say that like you're up for 20 or 30 hours and then you sleep for like 12 and then I was like maybe maybe but seven o'clock in the morning anymore and it makes me sad been that way since middle school damn sleep deprived high schooler does your mom like you because my mom would hate me if i was that sleep deprived since middle school now i'm only tired because i didn't get much sleep last night and went to the beach all day. Ooh, that's like the tiredest kind of tired. Beach tired. Kind of same. Saturday, my body woke me up at six and I was so angry. Yeah, it's like, if it's not my body, it's a cat. Um, it's usually my body. Sometimes a cat. Brushes. This is not enough. And it's true, I have no cats here. Oh, beach tired is a whole different type of tired, yeah. The way my family looked at it, I was it was as long as I was going to school and doing what I needed what needed to be done, they didn't mind. That's cool. They're pretty lenient. Yeah, my family was pretty lenient too. My mom. I was like, I was 
I'm the youngest of four kids, like a quick four. And so my mom was like fucking exhausted, just done, done by the time I was in high school. She was like, I would like to have an empty nest, but guess what? I have four more years of this shit. And I was like, same, I hate school. This is the worst. I hate my siblings. I hate Maui. I hate everything about everything. I hate swimming. I hate, I, I hated literally everything about my life in high school for the longest time. I got sidetracked. I don't even know why I brought that up. Oh, and my parents just like let me do anything and I still hated all of it because I couldn't figure out how to change it because I lived on an island. I was only good at swimming, literally only good at swimming. <laughs> I was a spoiled brat in hindsight for a lot of it. Fucking Tyler Durden over there, over here. Yeah, kind of. I'm also still rather young. I probably won't be able to do these kinds of hours in the next five to six years. Well, if you get like a office job for sure, that's a, that's a no go. But yeah, I will say that do, you do lose that as you get older and it is frighteningly fast. I'm still waiting for the day I wake up and suddenly can't see anything and need glasses. Okay, the color is getting a little strange here. I think I need to move this. There we go. It's a little bit better. More accurate color here. Uh, but yeah, we had a lot of good memories. Yes, we did, Jillian. Don't, I apologize. I had a lot of really good friends. Um, but it didn't feel like I was put in the right place in the world. It felt like someone had just accidentally put me with the wrong family in the the one place that for some reason i couldn't find myself able to appreciate which was like really pretty maui and like i don't know i just always felt like i was placed in the wrong spot like i was just like i would thrive if every part of this environment were different <laughs> Totally normal feeling, especially in high school. Oh yeah. Shit, I feel like I needed glasses at the DMV when I was getting my license trying to read the lines of numbers and letters. Well, I also, I had like a similar situation. It's one of the ways I actually found out I was dyslexic was I kept failing or like not passing my eye exams because of the letters and the numbers and stuff. But like when they were taking like all of the scans of my eyes, they were like, I don't know, like your eyes are kind of fine. And I'm like, well, I don't know what to tell you. That didn't look like an E or it didn't look like a three. And um, then I kind of put two and two together later in life, realized I was dyslexic. And then I let my ophthalmologist, optometrist know. And so now I take different tests. Text message. No. Okay. I think I've hit an hour and a half, and that's all I wanted to do. <laughs> Not to be too lazy about it, but look, painting is hard. It's a lot of little squares. You guys are all very fun. I'm happy that you guys are my friends. 
I am gonna finish this freaking painting. I'm going to. I'm gonna finish it in the next two weeks because I am just going to. Now the 24 hour streams, oh my god. No worries, Abby, I gotta run to. Thank you, Rat Native, for hanging out. If you are streaming, please let me know because I'd love to just send all of our friends to you. But you might also be in scrolly studio mode, so. Okay, clean brush, clean brush. Okay, let's see who's on. My friend just did a 24 hour stream. I don't know how she did it. I I don't know if I'll ever be able to do a 24 hour stream. Maybe a 12 hour stream. That'd be pushing it, but I would definitely try a 12 hour stream before I would try a 24 hour stream. Maybe even like, I would try a six hour stream, honestly. That would be such, such a challenge for me. <laughs> It's hard to focus. Okay, we have mechanism. We have uh, Saint Mahoney. We have the Mother of Jedi. Um, but da, 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 da. oh, twelve hours doable can be fun. Start with six, and move up. Yep, yep, yep. Gonna go to bed. Gotta get up early. Good night and have a good stream. I'll get the drinks and popcorn. You are the best, Jillian. I will catch you later. Um, but we are gonna raid... God, we have too many friends on right now. What, Bonic? Love you too. I know, I suck at streaming for long periods of time, but it's already 8 o'clock on a Sunday, and honestly, I still gotta eat dinner. Have you given boyfriend and <laughs> chin a chance yet? No, I have not. I have been so busy playing No Man's Sky. You have no idea. Oh, Danny, hello. I hope you've been having a good lurk. Okay, let's go see Mother of J Jedi and then I'm gonna let her know that I can't hang out. But, okay. Subscriber only chat. So FYI, subscriber only chat. However, um, just, you know, if you can hang out, hang out. We love, we love Mother of Jedi. So, um, thank you, Danny. I will enjoy dinner. Again, you guys are all great. I love you very much. Thank you for hanging out with me. Bye.